So last time we were playing around and making some real pretty hearts, and uh, and I wanted to, to show um, a bit more of doing some things with that, like we could change the color, we could change the, the color of the background color, right click, also known as control menu, let's show you that control menu, context sensitive menu, there comes some nice uh, baby blue, seems pleasant. And a few more things can be done to make it um, look real nice, like uh, <laughs> aha, like this guy right here. All right. <clears throat> oh, I, how did I get rid of the contour? Um, I right-clicked, or you can go to Menu and do Attributes. But I went to Attributes, and I turned off the uh, surface and wire, and just made it surface only. And then when you rotate it around. <laughs> And it shows shows it like that. Um, isn't that beautiful? I think so. All right. Um, now I wanted to show you some more things about hearts. There's a file that is on the the Google Group website. Let's show you the Google Group website. Um, there's a file called Hearts. Welcome to the TI Inspire Google Group website. If you go to the TNS files and you scroll down a bit, do do do, um, not too far. Then there's a th oh, calculus. Stop it. <laughs> then, no. If you go to the TNS file site and you scroll down a little bit, then we can see hey, there's 3D Code and Plane, uh, 3D Sphere, Hearts. Here's all the, there's this file um, that is available for you there. And let me show you what's interesting. So you're going along, you're like, wow, that's interesting with inverse sine and, and radicals and polar cardioids and, yeah parametric relations and you're like what is this well this one was a zeros which doesn't work on the numeric inspire which is what we're looking at right now um, however 3d does and I wanted to show you a perhaps even more impressive 3d heart uh, that's this this beautiful thing right here and so you can go to that and you can see what kind of function was used to graph that it was two parts two real parts and the uh, the next page will will show that to you as well also, you could do implicit relations on on a um, on a numeric device using this little implicit program. And what I really want to do now is show you the Batman equation. So let's go to my uh, TI Inspire CX CAS um, software that's opened up. And this file was typed in here real nice um, by this guy by the name of Jim. And so. Um, He's got this this equation that we were talking about. He typed it up for us, um, and, and Rex was the one who pointed it out um, to the Google group, and, and so got it all typed in here. It's uh, six factors all equal to zero, and then on the next page he's setting each of these terms. He's defining each of these terms, and uh, on the next page, um, it's essentially using the zeros function, zeros and that one factor, that one term, and and you can see the different parts of it. Um, so I made the background black because I thought it looked nice. And uh, so let's go ahead and give a 3D version because this would not work on the numeric inspire. So we'll play around and, and see what we can do in, in a couple of minutes with that. So on the next page, I do have a 3D graph set up. And um, also I have those functions here on this page right here. So I'm going to use the uh, shift and I will select that whole bit, control C and coming over here and control V that's working great pasting that portion of it in there uh, let's look at this from a perspective of Z hmm um, oh yeah let's look at this from a perspective of Z especially with a similar type of window from before menu range um, from the X was negative 7 to 7 um, negative 4 to uh, let's see if 4 will work out. And the Z, how about we only want to go from 0 to uh, 1. Sounds great. All right. So, ooh, that's looking more like the Batman logo. So we want to put in Z2. Uh, we'll put in our second term. And uh, let's use Shift and select the whole thing. Shift and got that selected with a Control C. Copy and paste it right here with our Control V. Control V and we want to paste it. All right, let's try that again. Copy the text 
and paste it in there. There we have our text. And here is the next little portion. Hey, that looks just like the top part. Perhaps I don't, didn't copy this portion. Control C. I, and pacing. That's better. Oh, that's a lot better. And we'll get a couple more terms here. <laughs> shift, holding down shift and arrowing around is a nice way to select some things. And tab will get me back in there. Pacing that portion of it. That didn't look like it did much. Well, let's just keep moving on. Let's get the fourth term. Fourth term. Selecting the whole thing of it. Works like on a computer where you can shift and arrow over. Selecting and pasting. Hope I did that right. Oh, look, there's a wee little portion of that. <laughs> and then term five. Hopefully, term five will be a little more exciting. Control C, arrow, Control V. Hmm. All right. And the last part. And paste. All right. Um, I was thinking there was going to be a, a little bit more. I wonder if if these look different. All right, they all look different. So we'll say we've got them all. Um, now the only other thing I wanted to do was to um, make the background color black. There's black. Let's get in there. Let's make each one of these. Um, I'm going to right click. I'm going to do Control Menu while I'm down there, and I'm going to change the color. Um, maybe I'll do the line color will be white, and then we'll do the uh, the fill color. Let's make that a yellow. And then I'll up arrow to the next one. And let's see if that'll keep working. Color, fill color, yellow, right click, line color, line color white. Hopefully that worked. Perhaps I need to press enter. Um, you could also do this. Oh, good. That's working. You could also do this by I'm um, clicking on it for for some of them you can actually reach, and we could change the the line color to white, nice, and we can change the fill color to how about yellow. That's getting there in it. Just need to do this little portion, color line color white, fill color yellow, and I think that'll about do it. Rotating it a little bit. Oh, I'm definitely am missing one of them. Let's see. Um, which one is it? What if it's. Let's try this one. Change the color, line color to white. I think that helped. Yep. Fill color to yellow. Yep. That gives us. That helped out a little bit. We could also turn off menu uh, view. We could turn off the axes, and we could turn off the little uh, legend. Hide the box. Oh, I can't believe the box isn't in. Hide the legend, and that should look pretty good. Let's hide the box too. View, hide box, and there, there it is. Batman. You know, they're missing a few pieces, but um, not too bad. Better stop this.